chair when lawmakers return from recess. Now, the goal here is to get the bill on the president's desk before his State of the Union speech in early February. But there are still a number of divisive issues to resolve. Let's bring in Republican Congressman uh, of Washington, Dave Reichert. Uh, we should uh, also mention that Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez of California, a Democrat, had agreed to join us but canceled a short time ago. Her office contacted our producers saying there was a scheduling issue, whatever that means. Uh, but Congressman Reichert, thank you for being with us. You're welcome. Happy to be here. Last year, the president promised um, at least eight times that Americans could watch health care negotiations unfold on television. This week, Reportedly, he told congressional leaders uh, who were meeting with him at the White House he wants to bypass negotiations altogether. Uh, in your judgment, has the president betrayed his promise to Americans? Well, I, I think it's obvious uh, to the American people what the promise was and the direction that these negotiations are heading. Certainly isn't a transparent uh, process, but this has been a frustrating issue from the, the day uh, health care discussion began. Uh, we, on the Ways and Means Committee, uh, wanted to get engaged. The Republican, the minority party, wanted to get engaged, but were never allowed to fully engage. We presented 40, over 40 amendments in our uh, committee. None were accepted. And now we've passed a bill. We're jamming this through the House. We jammed it through the Senate. And now we're going to bypass uh, the normal process again, which is the conference process mm -hmm. where leaders of both parties usually come together and have a discussion. That isn't happening today. Nancy Pelosi is, I'll quote her, she said there has never been a more open process for any legislation. Is that just not true? Well, that's just not true. Um, we have, again, as I said, we've had hearings, we've had opportunities to interview witnesses, but uh, from our point of view, it's a box that was checked. We had a what they call a markup where you can bring in your amendments, you can offer your amendments. None were accepted. Yeah. That was a box that was checked that was put to the floor, the vote took place, and uh, again, well, uh, there's I, been no transparency. Help we me haven't to had understand, the opportunity. Why would Pelosi say that? Why would the president make promises that he didn't want to keep? Are these just the typical empty platitudes that politicians make to get elected? Well, I think what's lost here is that they have forgotten that they represent the people of the United States. This is about people. This is about people and their lives and their health care. And if we can't make our own decisions, if right. the government can't come together and, and find a solution for the rising health care costs, we're in deep trouble. This is, should not be shoved down Americans' throats. Yeah. Um, and let me just repeat again for those just now tuning in, we had invited uh, Democratic Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez uh, to balance this out. She had agreed and she canceled about a half hour ago. Uh, but let me move forward. Uh, the president, Congressman Reichert, made another campaign promise not to raise taxes on the middle class. But is that what the 40 percent tax on so-called Cadillac plans does? Since uh, the vast majority of those who have those plans are, are you know, middle class union members. <clears throat> Well, th that's not the only tax. So uh, in this bill, uh, first of all, let's just remember, again, this is about people, but in this bill we're talking about taxes on small businesses. We're talking about uh, taxing uh, a 2.5% tax, by the way, on medical devices. So pacemakers and wheelchairs, et cetera, for our seniors and our special needs population. Um, we're talking about uh, uh, taxing those Cadillac, so-called Cadillac pl uh, plans. What is really the definition of a Cadillac plan? And I know some of the unions are upset with this, and we're in the middle right now, at least uh, from what I'm reading and hearing from Washington State, is that some of the union leadership across this country is now, are now in the middle of negotiations with the administration as to whether or not their Cadillac, so-called mm -hmm. Cadillac plans, will be uh, taxed along with everybody else's. If uh, Loretta Sanchez were here, she would likely say what she has said pre previously, and that is this, th th this bill is not perfect. Uh, and she has reservations about certain aspects of the bill, but she thinks the overriding importance is to provide health care <coughs> for 46 million Americans that lack it. Isn't that <coughs> an important goal to achieve here? Well, well certainly, but 
you know, we can't forget that 85% of Americans like their insurance plan. The only thing they don't like about it is the cost. So let's address the cost first. Well, but I got to um, stop you there because she would say, sure. wait a minute. The, those who have health insurance like it, but what about the 46 million who don't, who will get health insurance through this health reform bill? Well, one step at a time is, is my message. Look, they're totally reforming this health care system. What does it do for American citizens, those who are insured and those who are underinsured? All it does again, remember, all it does again is raise taxes on small businesses, raises taxes on middle-income Amer Americans, it raises taxes on uh, medical devices, right. it increases Medicare premiums for our seniors by $50 billion, uh, it takes away your choice. It, it decreases benefits, and by the way, you can't keep your health care plan if you like it. We know right. that that's true, and, uh, and, and it's not doing anything sure. to provide any additional coverage or address the cost of health care in this country. That's the bottom line. All right, uh, Congressman Dave Reichert, uh, thanks for keeping your word uh, for appearing with us today to answer our questions. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Happy to be here. Thank you. Well, new information on what led to a security breach at Newark's airport.